Hi, welcome to another vlog this morning. Actually, today we did not go to happy hour. We went to breakfast instead. Um, and then we're gonna have dinner at home and then maybe go out in the evening. But I just finished filming. Well, the top I'm wearing in that video, it's very fall vibe. So I'm getting excited for fall makeup. I think it's this lip here. It's the beautiful um, Chanel lip, but I actually, I think I wanna change it just to see um, what another lipstick might look like with it. Actually, I wanna go in with the Victoria Beckham. I just held them up for the video. Okay, I'm gonna remove this though. I'm gonna attach this to the video where we go see my sister. So we're gonna pack, oh, I also ordered another one of those um, uh, monos luggages because I liked my husband so much. So I ordered a white one. I don't know if it's gonna get here before we leave, but I'll show you what his looks like when it's packed. We can kind of see, but uh, he doesn't take very much with him anyway. I just wanted to see how this looked with a little bit of a lighter lip. But let's unbox. This is gonna be a really long vlog. Okay, so over here I have some things. I'll show you. Uh, oh gosh. Right here there is a box to open and then this one. I think we know what that is. But let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. How can I, let's see. Find a better way for you to look at this with me. Okay. Maybe I'll just go back here. That's why I sit here, because the lighting's good. <laughs> I have to say, it was much better filming without so much clutter though. So it says here that starting September 1st, so this is after September 1st, Christophe Rubin is unveiling its new visual identity. So it's almost, I don't know if it's a rebranding, but they are changing the appearance of their packaging, the labels at least. Um, same care, innovation, and artistry at heart. So let's take a look at the things. They asked me what I would like to try, and I just gave them a few things. I think they kindly sent everything that I said I was interested in. So this is probably my favorite item by them. It's the cleansing purifying scrub. So this is a new packaging. So if you like this product, just know that the packaging is going to look a little bit different. And actually, I just filmed the favorites video that disappeared, and so here's the older version versus the newer version. So that might be helpful in case you like this. And then they also sent over this, I was interested in this, cleansing volumizing paste. I, this sounded really intriguing, though, because let's look at it. It's more like a scrub looking thing. Oh, it smells nice. So, let me know if you've used this. They also sent over this Color Shield mask. Also, I have not tried before, so I'm excited to try this one. It says, it helps maintain the appearance of vibrant color while macadamia oil enriches hair with softness. That's something else I haven't tried. This though, I have been using, it's very nice. The Hydrating Melting Mask with Aloe, Aloe, Aloe Vera. <laughs> And this one says, silky conditioning mask composed of 95% natural origin ingredients. It helps provide a feeling of hydration, plumper looking hair, and it looks luminous and full of vitality. And they also sent this, which I was intrigued by. Let me put the box down. This is the shade variation mask, which enhances color and deeply nourishes. So this is for, to cool down your brown. So sometimes my hair can get a little, not so much anymore, but it has the potential to get kind of like orange, which I don't like, kind of brassy. So this is what this looks like. Oh, let me show you the front. That's what it looks like. It won an Allure Award. So it says there's a before and after. It's a, oh, 2020 award winner. Here's the before shade and the after. So if you struggle with that, there is this product that can help. Thank you so much, Christophe Robin. They sent a card as well. I'm pleased to share the next chapter of Christophe Robin with you. Excited to hear what you think of the new look and feel. So if you love Christophe Robin, just know that their exterior packaging looks different than it did in the past. Same products though, same performance. So make sure to not be totally thrown off by that because there's a company that my husband gets his hair gel from and they are changing their packaging, everything. But I also think that they're changing 
I don't know, we can't find his product that he loves. Um, and so it's nice to know when a company is doing that, that they're just in this case, changing the packaging, but the product is the same. Okay, now for another exciting one. I love openings. So if you know the size of the box, you already know it's House of Siage. Usually I get an email that something's on the way, but I didn't get one this time. I just got the box, which I'm not complaining about, but usually I know what this is, but I don't know anything about this. So let's take a look and see what's inside. So we have the beautiful bow here on the top. And I'm gonna try and show as much as I can of this because it is, again, an experience to unbox these. And there's a piece of tape here. It's like, a, of course, a nice piece of tape, this round piece of tape. And then let's find out. There's a card, always a card. So this will tell us what I almost dropped it. The final fragrance in the Whispers in the Garden Noir collection is arriving Friday, September 17th, exclusively on House of Siage. Ooh, this one sounds really different. Marshmallow, Vanilla Orchard, nope. Vanilla Orchid and Central Oris. So I didn't hear anything about um, Leather Note in there. So this is a series, I'll show you the series together. It's a series of four, The Whispers of Truth Noir, and then the other two that I received. And so this is the final, ooh, it smells nice. So, oh, there's always stuff in there, <laughs> like leaves. There were some green ones last time, red in the first one. I don't know if there, oh, there were, what was in the first one? I don't recall. But um, I still have like find these little green ones around the house. <laughs> so there's Nicole. She is just gorgeous as always. Nicole, look at her. Oh, I can smell it. It sounds so unique. Okay, so here's the back. There's always a lovely um, information card here. Top notes, sweet clementine, candied apple marshmallow. Heart notes, Egyptian orange, vanilla orchid, fluffy freesia petals. Base notes, sensual oris, and patchouli leaf. So how cute, I love the gold leaves though. How cute are those? Okay, I'm almost home. Can't even hear me. <laughs> I'm, oh, stepping on all of the bubble wrap. Just trying to tell my husband I was finishing up here because we're gonna go out in a little bit. Beautiful. Oh, I'm sad this is the last of the series. It's been really fun opening um, and seeing how all of them are kind of related. Already, I'm getting like a sense of like a, a soapy quality almost. Now this sounds totally different than the other three though. Here's the box. Ooh, so we've got the beautiful bottle. Ooh, look at that. It's got like a grayish tone on there, which, you know, I love gray. That's really pretty. I love these bottles so much. I think there's, uh, let's see. It says there are over 100 hand-placed diamond cut Swarovski crystals, hand-polished French, French glass, and a black ombre finish, black animal fragrance cap with 18 carat yellow gold plated finish, parfum concentrate with over 20% oil concentration, Fragrance for all, made in France. So these are geared towards both men and women. So let's take a smell. I'm really interested, I'm intrigued. Okay, this is very different than the other three. Ooh, that's interesting. I like it though. Very different than any perfume that I have. Beautiful bottle. Gorgeous. And then here is the actual perfume. Thank you so much, House of Siege. I feel so lucky that you send me these. I, like I said, I always credit House of Siege with teaching me about fragrance, and that is the reason why I've become kind of a fragrance person. What a beautiful fragrance house to learn from. If you're gonna learn from anybody, it's I'm very, very lucky. So thank you so much, House of Siege. But I do want to show you all of them together. So let me gather them, and I'll show them to you all. All. I'll show all of them to you. <laughs> so I have all four fragrances right here, so let me turn them around and just tell you about each one. So this first one, Whispers of Truth Noir, is the first one I received. It is the most intricate, I think, of all of them, and is really full-bodied, beautiful, has the most leather 
scent to it, very intense. This is the second one we received. It's the Whispers of Temptation. Really lovely as well. It's like a softer version. I know that's a really simple way to explain it, but this is more of a simple version of this. Not as complex, but still a lovely leather note on there. And then this one's different. It has a sweeter take on everything. This is whispers of enchantment so if you want something a little bit sweeter then i'd go with this one and then this one is also on the sweeter side but i don't think it's as sweet as the whispers of enchantment it's got a really beautiful interesting kind of fragrance to it let me smell it so even though it has a lot of like gourmand scents in it it's still very floral and really beautiful Good morning. I just filmed, so I'm walking out of the room right now, um, and I'm gonna load the film, the film, the video. <laughs> I'd like to check just to make sure everything looks okay, like the intro and outro to make sure I don't have to redo it. I'm gonna film my empties video as well today. And then um, my skin is so dry today, and I'm gonna show you what I use because I feel like, whoa, that's really bright. Because I feel like, still too bright, um, what was I saying? Oh, because I feel like um, my skin is so dry. I don't think you can see here. It's so dry right now. Like it feels raw and my skin never feels like that. And I think it's a trash unknown. So I'm taking a little break from that right now, but my dark spots on the other hand are getting a lot better. So I'm going to have to just let my skin kind of reset a little before I go back into that. But I'll show you because I did a totally different skincare routine this morning just because actually was feeling kind of uncomfortable. So like to the point where um, I was putting something kind of gentle on it and it stung my face. So that means I need to take it easy a little bit, but I'm gonna load my video here, make sure we're looking good. And then I'm gonna film another video. I also need to film some inserts of a video. Yeah, so we're gonna do that as well. We're gonna take a little drive today. My husband has a a classic car, a vintage car um, that he really likes. So we're gonna take that for drive. It needs to be run every, like once a week or so. And I don't think we'll go in, well, we'll probably end up going somewhere. And if we do, I'll take you with us. I've decided to go with the um, smoothie. Did I say that? I think I said that for lunch. In here we have kale, blueberries, yogurt, Greek yogurt, bananas. I'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures pictures, I guess, for Instagram. I'll see, I still have my setup here, um, of products I've been meaning to take photos of so I can actually use them. Take the car out, and then I think we might eat something as well while we're out. Um, but let's go ahead and take some photos. I, was, I knew I had another mascara somewhere. It's hiding in there. I just filmed, I just refilmed something. <laughs> so I had already done my get ready with me August favorites, my August favorites, and then I looked at the footage and I just wasn't happy with it. I feel like sometimes the colors I wear, because I had a black and white top on, it alters the overall look of the makeup, which is why I stick to more neutral colors and especially white 
is a really good one because it doesn't throw off the other colors so much. So I refilmed that. I realized I didn't show you my skincare because if you look close, well, I don't know if you can see in this light, but my skin is irritated because of the tretinoin. And then I used a washcloth on top of that and so it kind of irritated my skin. So I have switched to a little bit different routine, which is very different for me. Um, and then the toner bottle fell over and half of it's gone already, so. But I will show you what I'm using. And then I've got a pack, get ready to go to my parents' house to go see my sister. So I'm not sure how long this vlog's gonna be or if it's gonna be a two-part vlog. We'll see how long it is. Um, but I was thinking it might be kind of fun to have her style, like help me order fall clothes because any of her recommendations are really, really good and they're things that I use over and over. So uh, the Gucci loafers are her recommendation. Um, what else? That uh, Louis Vuitton shawl that I have, it's a recommendation of hers. Some sandals that I've had for years were a recommendation and I still get compliments on them. They're probably five years old at this point. So I wanna see what her take is on fall clothing and then maybe order some of the things and see what they look like on. So I don't know if we'll actually go shopping. There's a Nordstrom near there, but maybe it would just be better to have her maybe take me online shopping. That might be interesting, but I've got to get ready for that. And maybe the next time I see you will be with my sister. And for skincare, I switched to this Tony Comfort, the one for dry skin by Lancome. Here's the label. Uh, really nice. It was full today, but it fell over and now that's all that's left. So this is the SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier. If you can't see it, I don't know what's going on with the lighting. And then I've been going in with the Chantecai, the Rose de May face oil, along with the Nano Gold face cream. Let me go get that because I have it in the other room. Really nice. So if you haven't used this, it absorbs so well into skin and really just soothes it so nicely. And then this is the other cream, the Chantecai Nano Gold Energizing Face Cream. Really nice and emollient, so yeah, I've switched it up a little bit. But I have been using this ever since I started on the Tretinoin again. Really great one. Welcome from a place that some might be familiar with because I posted some of these photos, gosh, a while back when my dad was posting his backyard. So here we are in the backyard and we have a special guest here joining us for probably the rest of this video. Hi everyone, nice to see you. Uh, hi everyone, nice to see you again. I can't really see you. Hi everyone. So she's gonna be here for the rest of the, I feel like dad. <laughs> Claw, you like this for a picture? I think it's your makeup. Thank you. Sorry. Anyway, she's gonna help me shop. She's gonna help me figure out some fall staples, and because her recommendations are really good when it comes to fashion, things that I keep year after year after year, and actually a lot of things that people ask me about, both on YouTube, Instagram, and then in real life. So she's gonna help me with that because I wanna invest wisely, so that's the key. I wanna get some high quality items that I will wear on repeat. And then I think we're gonna do something on your Instagram mm -hmm. TV, is that right? Or yeah, IGTV so for dressing the woman. And we're gonna do some makeup yeah. because she loves what kind of colors? Warm. Warm. And she's not convinced she can wear cool colors. Yeah. So we're gonna try some things out and she'll see. And um, can you tell us how many Shantikai items you have? Zero. Maybe we'll maybe I will have to. We'll get her into the world of Shantikai. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> Enjoying yourself with all of your people here. Yeah. <laughs> Wave to the camera, Dad. And we have some fresh, oh, that's really organic. <laughs> Why, is there a worm in there? No, yeah, because look, it's not, it's not perfect, but it is organic because they came from the trees here that Dad planted many, many years 30 ago. 30 years ago, I think. 30 years ago, wow. This looks like it's a store apple. Hello, 
from now the backyard. We got kicked out of the kitchen where we were gonna film because my mom has to cook. So we're gonna do a little bit of makeup on my sister because like I said, she's not, we have, also have lots of people around yeah, here. Yeah, the whole family here. Um, so they're trying to help out as well, <laughs> moving furniture and such. So we are gonna go ahead and just try some base products on her because she's not, um, and do you see how her coloring is different than mine? Like I'm yeah, I have more no makeup warm. on right now. You are cooler toned. So we have a couple of things. She's never tried the Water Fresh Tint by Chanel nor the Chantecai foundation. So do you wanna go in with something do you want to try both maybe? We can do the Water Fresh Tint and see how, just see how that looks on your face and then a little bit more coverage maybe in the front okay. with one of the sure. foundations. We're going to take a little bit of this and just going to place it on your face like this. Work it into the skin. Do you want to do that so you can see how it feels? I like how you do okay. it. Okay. So I'm used to putting makeup on myself versus... Are you uncomfortable? No. I just <laughs> like around your nose and stuff. Usually with the, this comes with a brush as well. Oh. So if you just look half and half, do you see the difference? It just evens out the skin tone, mm, it doesn't like cover. Nice. So I think it's nice for that lightweight kind of feel, especially where you're in a humid climate. What's the brand again? Mm, Chanel. Chanel, okay. What a fresh tint. Nice. But you can see it's just a really just evened out the skin tone. Really nice. Okay, then I have the my all-time favorite foundation so far this year. Well, all-time favorite. I have two shades, Vanilla, and I also have Nude, which is deeper. Which one do you think looks like your shade? That one looks maybe too pinky. Okay. Do you think? So this is Vanilla. Oh, this is oh, Vanilla, the... and this is Nude. So maybe yeah. Nude. It comes with this, but I prefer actually a different brush. I'm just trying on the chin so far. Oh, actually, it's quite nice for you. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna go close to this area. Just in the front. Why just in the front? Because usually you don't need, your skin's very nice and it just needs a little evening out. Like the less it needs to be covered, then like I can use this as concealer. I feel like this I can get under here. You're just a few broken capillaries. So it's great for a warm weather. It doesn't require a powder either. So this is the Chantecaille Camouflage Stilo. We're gonna go right under the eye area. You don't have like bags or anything, but this is a good color for you in this area. So if you look at it and then just tap like this gently, it has a little reflective property to it. Okay, so look at the difference between, can you see the difference mm, between yeah. your eyes? Right so I'm not, I'm not concealing the entire part, just right there. Then. Mm. then we're gonna do eyebrows. So eyebrows, I learned this trick from a I have none. artist. And have you used the Gucci pencil yet? No. I love this pencil. So we're gonna go like this first. Look too? So you're gonna take your brows, your little brows. My little, I have none. Careful, my five pairs. Did you um, pluck them off? What happened? No, they were always like this, remember? I always had a and a Okay, <laughs> so then you're gonna go backwards, starting wow. here, go backwards. Because that way you don't have as much of an issue with this distinct line, which ah. can make it look a little bit harsh. Yeah. And then, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of brow gel. This is the tinted one, I like this, it's the dark. I'm just gonna build a little bit of volume on your little of our hairs. hairs. I'm gonna go against the grain just to get them away from your face a little bit. We're gonna do actually something on her Instagram TV mm -hmm. with Debbie. So she's gonna log in from Hong Kong in about 15 minutes. So yeah. Are we ready for that? What do you think? I like Take it. A, did you see the um, coverage of the foundation? No, I didn't. Because I noticed that she had a, like a CC cream on there. Yeah. And there was a lot of, not that she has texture to her face, but it was it was like puckering from her face and it was settling into the pores. So I was asking her what she was using. And I love this because it doesn't That's do that. Really it's a nice. really even coverage, doesn't mm. settle into pores. Even in this like outdoor sunlight, it's very nice. And I think that shade nude is good for okay. you. Okay. So actually this is yours then. Oh, thank you. So this comes like this when you buy it, it comes with one and then there's another one like this inside of it. And you can get this in Asia. Okay. Um, but now you'll know what to get. So awesome. this, and then it comes with the little, this pad that we used, but I prefer a brush. If you don't have this Shiseido brush that I have, do you have it? You don't have it, it's a little red one. Okay, okay. you need that. So I apply all foundations thank with that. You. So. Okay, so this is yours. Oh, thank you. The things I should buy are yeah, that. Yeah, you should also, if you liked it, did you I like that? It. Okay, 
Chanel water fresh. And then this thing. Tante Kai, we can flush the okay. 4C. Okay. Do you like that? Because you yeah. can't see. Yeah. So here we are addressing the woman. We've got a special guest today, a uh, makeup enthusiast. So All this right. is what we have for Nick. It's one of the Chantecaille shadows. These are philanthropy shadows. So every, um, not every animal, but every shadow benefits some kind of philanthropy. So this is the elephant shade and it's a little bit cool. So it has some luminescence. Obviously that's what it is, but that, they were known for just this one and done look. Oh yeah, yeah that looks that's good. Nice. Because it's, it's soft versus yeah, like an okay. eyeliner liner. I actually, when I look in the palette, it looks like a very light gray. Hmm. But it's actually got Quite some dense. color too. Yeah. Guys, as you can see, we are all glammed up, all three of us. And so if you'd like to see how we did this, keep watching. Okay, so there are lots of things that you get today. Um, you tried this on, so this is a new one. This is Lobelia, which is what I had on earlier. So it's a brand Thank new you. one by Chantecaille. It's a Le Matte Stilo. So it's like a really gentle matte shade. Nothing shiny in there, but also not drawing. So it's a really great matte formula, especially for people who don't like matte formula. Do you like matte formulas? I love matte formulas. Okay, well then you'll love that one. So there's a lot of warmth to that one, so I think it works really well on your skin tone. Okay, and then you're Thank also you. getting the Butterfly Blush. So I have a new one and I just popped it out. So, so there's a little hole in the back. You can use a little pen or a pin and pop it out. So this comes okay. out as magnetic. I also used the Chantecaille Future Skin Cushion Foundation on her in Nude. What we used on her eyes today, the Elephant Eyeshadow. And then I'm giving her another one. You get this one as well. This is one of my favorite ones. This one is in a, they call it a golden copper shade. So it looks like this. Thank you. And this is also by Chantekai. More up your alley. Actually, that would be really pretty with that lip. Then we have a blush by Wayne Goss. If you don't watch him, you should watch him. He has an amazing YouTube channel and has some lovely brushes. Oh, the brushes I used on uh, the video were his. Oh, they're always his. So, so this is the, what is this one called? This is the Bright Poppy Blush. So it's got this bright color and then this is a highlighter. You can use it anywhere else. A beautiful golden shade. It's kind of like a golden copper yeah. shade as well. And then one more thing is, oh, she likes this. So she's getting the Victoria Beckham yeah, in that's... Spark. Pretty. This is my favorite one, but you can have it. Thank you. Okay. Thank and you. That's it. Welcome. <laughs> I want to leave that in there. Ready to go shop? Well, actually, before we go shopping, mm. shopping online, um, yeah. I wanted her to talk about these uh, Clay de Poe skincare items that she brought with her because you like them. And I tell do. us the reason that you only have, she only has three. There actually is a lotion missing because I've used it on the earlier part of the trip and didn't bring enough. But yeah, I like this because it's actually a line for um, Clay de Peau. Yeah, more maturing skin. Oh. And it's meant to help with like um, pores um, and just kind of a tightening up of your skin as you age. But it's also really um, simple to use. So it's, it's basically just a, a cleansing soap and then a lotion and then if you're going to do daytime. Let's look at it. So this is a Synactive, mm. this is the eye cream. Yeah. So day and night. Okay, that's day and night. And then the day, day cream. cream. Just and for the day. Just <laughs> for the day. And then the night. And that's it. Very easy. Wow. Okay, so for the skincare minimalist, Clay de Poe has yes. thought about that. If you're interested, I'll link them below. But yeah. you really like them? I really like it. How long have you been using that? Uh, probably, I've gone two cycles now. So probably six or seven months. So I just wanted her to talk about that because she brought the full sizes with her. And yeah. I feel like if you travel far and you're bringing a full size, you must really like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and go shopping though, as promised. 
you're a little lopsided because actually this is on a table, on a stool, on a pillow, on a phone. <laughs> so we're gonna do some shopping. I just asked for some staple pieces, some really lovely fall items that I'll wear over and over again that you'll probably see over and over again. So maybe like a some kind of top or I love a sweater, a cardigan. I feel like that's really versatile. Yeah. Um, a nice pair of jeans. I wear more denim, maybe shoes. I feel like those Stuart Weitzman combat boots that I talk about all the time, I'll put a picture mm. up here. Those, I haven't really used them since I purchased them, so maybe those will take me into the yeah, fall and winter. Boots. But will they work with the jeans? I don't know. So mm. should we start on Nordstrom? They have a pretty yeah. nice variety. What are you looking for? I was looking for your phone because I actually came across a- Is it over there? It's right here. Oh. An influencer. Well, there's an influencer that I think a lot of people know. I've followed her forever, but she wore a fall look the other day that really reminded me of you. Okay, and I th who's the influencer? Ami Song. Okay, Song, Song of Style. I'll she put is. the um, link below to yeah. her account if you want. Wide leg jeans. And they've been back for a few, couple years actually, but they're really, I think, gaining steam now. Um, kind of that 70s vibe is back and I love it. Even though they say there's a trend for skinny jeans or wide leg jeans, I feel like it's kind of whatever you want. Exactly. It's kind of like makeup, like there are no rules. Just pick what looks good on you and what you're comfortable wearing. Yes. But so what's great is I've always been a wide leg jean fan and so I have a, a bunch in Why? my wardrobe. I think they make your legs look really long. And I actually think it's quite a classic look. So if you remember, I don't know if any of you know of some style icons from back in the 70s or 60s like Jane Birkin. It's a very classic look. It's a very kind of, um, I don't know, just like cool girl look, you know? You Is just it more like French on. girl? Yeah, maybe French or even just a, um, kind of Americana, like old school Ralph Lauren, you know? Okay. So I think they're just, and it's very flattering. Um, they can be very flattering just for the long leg look. Um, okay. So, but I think what's great is that there are in right now, so there's a lot of options out there, whereas before it'd be kind of hard to find. But right now, ton of options. So I think let's go look at Nordstrom. I like to know, and maybe you know this, is uh, what brands you like and that fit you because different brands have different fit models. So for instance, I'm very narrow in the hips. Um, and so for me, it's frame and a gold really fit me well. I like frame, I like mother, J really brand. J brand is good. I need something more high waisted though, but okay. not like super tight under the ribs either. Okay. I feel like there's a tipping point where it gets uncomfortable. Well, so the ones that Ami was wearing, I think were these, the seven for mankind. Because I like them to fit more like pants. Yeah. <gasps> what is that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's so cute. Oh, I accidentally picked, clicked on her click, and it's like a really cute dog and her. Okay, I'll share. I'll put a link. It's so oh cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, Earth I'm going to save it. Save. Okay. Wide well, like jeans. I like them either like a crisp indigo that's all one color, like almost like they've just been dyed and they're, you know, mm -hmm. almost trousery, so they're they're dark, or the light kind okay. that's like on on oh, yeah yeah because it's that has more of that 70s easygoing feel now what else okay top, if cardigan? uh for cardigans yeah so um one thing i think again going with the 70s vibe that's back in in style the cardigans this season have um more of a polo look to them okay. so do you like that so how do I look that? Yeah, I like that. Like that. Um, so like a collar, top. and a lot of times they're in a rib knit, and maybe a little bit longer and fitted, and then um, a long sleeve that sometimes is uh, flared at the end even. So again, kind of a 70s look. And okay, ALC is a good one. Let's do uh, Theory. Okay, I like this that one. one. I think that one would be great for you, actually. I like the collar. Again, I like it, the it, color. The color is great. The collar is good. I think this is a good find for you because you wear this medium. You can wear this open, obviously. You can wear it buttoned up. You can wear it with the jeans that we just showed. Yes. And I like to get a a nice cardigan. Cashmere is this 100% cashmere? Yeah, 100% okay. cashmere. So this one, yeah, this one would be a staple. Like, look at that shape. One of the things, yeah. See, that's really nice. The color is really nice. I don't know. It has a personality to it. It's not just like yeah, a Yeah, I like that cardigan. open The oversized collar. collar. Yes. Okay. And so I added that to yeah, the bag. Great. What else do I need? Okay. Undo that last one you did. I don't know oh. what you did. Just go down to... I don't like Next this. Next style. Can I have to be 
How patient. Okay, undo the split net. So now we're on to looking at dresses because. Hi! <laughs> Find a shirt that I liked, or we call it a blouse. So now we're looking at this one by Diane von Furstenberg. I was looking for something fall. Is that fall? It looks kind of tropical. It's kind of tropical, but because it's a darker print and a darker background, it can be fall. So there's some like brown and olives in it, which is nice. So you can pick up on that and do like a um, like a brown or tan blazer or even like a cardigan over that in a brown or olive. Okay. I don't um, wear print, so that might be something different. This is a nice print, actually. Okay. Oh, very few sizes left. Oh, get the four. Only one left. I don't think it's going to fit me. No. No. But I'll add it to the bag and maybe I can find it on another retailer. Okay. Okay, so she's taking over the computer because I am <laughs> struggling clicking on kinds of all kinds of things and it's really warm out here. Yeah. Um, so what I would really love, because this, I can maneuver makeup really quite easily. The sun is all over the place. Because I know where things are, I know what's new, I know... I just know a lot more about shopping for makeup, so it's a lot easier, it's really efficient. I think you really have to love browsing and like enjoy this process. So what I need is someone to shop for me and get a really curated list down for me, for me to try, and then I can decide. So I'd let, like, are there services that do that kind of thing? I mean, I know there are box services where they send you, like they style things for you. I haven't tried those, but I feel like it wouldn't work for me. <laughs> because they send it to you so often. I just want one shopping, like one fall shopping, one winter shopping. Does that exist? Where someone, like you can hire someone to just curate maybe your top three dress choices, your top three pant choices, your top three, and they know your style and they just whittle it down to a very narrow list and you can try and then, then finally decide. It's a personal shopper. Oh, do those exist? Like, can you do that online? Hire one? Like, I would, I think that's such a good idea, especially for someone like me, where I would purchase it. I just don't, like, it makes me tired. <laughs> and I'm someone who just would say, okay, I just will get nothing because that's easier. I feel like I shop better in person, but still, that's a little overwhelming. And I feel like the things that you've picked out for me, I like because you've already curated it for me. And also, you've test driven some of the things. So that really helps. Because then I know it's like, okay, this is something that it costs a little bit more, but it's worth it because I'll actually use this item. Cost per wear. So there's this dress that I'm now obsessed with to get for you and I cannot find it. Shh. I'll be on the lookout for it. I might be able to find it at some point. Right now I'm on Farfetch, which basically goes to uh, inventory and boutiques in Europe. Yeah, I want a print because I don't wear prints. So yeah. I want something versatile as well. And... If there's anything that we find here after this, because this could show for forever. hours, <laughs> I'll list it below some options of things or maybe what I ended up purchasing because what I'm going to do is purchase these things and then we'll try them and then you'll get to see if they worked or not. So I'll list her fall staple recommendations below and leave some links. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, my sister just made us sandwiches. Good. And I just wanted to let you know I brought the mono bag with me because I wanted to test it out. So I ended up packing it, but I was able to put my laptop in there. I'll show you that in a minute because I still need to put that in. But I wanted to show you how much I was actually able to put in here because it's more than I thought. And actually they have packing cubes that look really nice because they're compressible. But I want to show you what's in here. I was able to put in my toothbrush. My YSL slides, I always travel with these. Um, my Chanel bag fits in here and then my brushes. Actually, I left one here the last time I was visiting and this is my newer one. So that fits really nicely in there. And it zips. And then we have this side, which is still attached here. So we have this side here and I have this, I don't know if you remember this was a PR item from Christophe Robin, but I have that. I have a sweatshirt in here. Um, I can't find my other sock. <laughs> and then we've got a top and a shirt, a dress, another top, and some things to sleep in. So there's actually quite a bit, and I need to put in a couple more items that are in the wash right now. So I want to show you that it does fit more than I actually anticipated, but I think those packing cubes, I'll put an image here 
they seem to go out of stock quite often, but I'm gonna get those two and they'll fit really nicely in here. And then my laptop just fits in there really, really nicely. Dad's here and they liked the luggage so much. What did you end up doing, Dad? What, what? Luggage? <laughs> what did you? The bonnet. Yeah, he got one. What color did you get? Blue. Blue. And then? Mom got pinkish. Mom got a pink one, so they were sold. And what did, what did you want? What did you want one? Why? Because I like the zipper outside. You can put your uh, iPad, cell phone, whatever. And you carry what? You don't have iPad, all that stuff. What do you carry with you? E-reader. Yeah, her e-reader. So last time they asked you to take it out. <laughs> I have to open the whole bag, a yeah. whole whatever. So she has to open her whole luggage, so this way she'll have it in the front part. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Easy to access. It's very convenient, uh, very convenient to have a separate compartment. That's great. <laughs> we travel a lot. They do. They travel quite frequently. They don't pack much, so I think that size is going to be really good for them. Perfect. Perfect size. Very nice.